you can see over here, we have finished preparing. Let's do the execution. Step 1. Use a spatula to transfer approximate one third of solid cube into a hard glass test tube. During the preparation part, I have already transferred. So right now, we have to heat the sample gently for 30 seconds and then strongly until no further changes are seen. And along the way, we have to test for the presence of any gases. So let me prepare my litmus paper first. Now, dry litmus paper have no use. So let me, over here, damp it, put some water over here, and let me damp the litmus paper. Turn on the Bunsen burner. As we heat, we can see that the solid cube has melted, white fumes is observed. Let me test with the litmus paper. Apparently, gas evolved turned blue litmus paper, then blue litmus paper red. So one of the observation is white fume is observed. Then blue litmus paper turn red. Red litmus paper have no reaction. And not only that, the solids has changed from a greenish whitish uh, solid to a dirty green solid. Now, I can also test the presence of another gas using acidified potassium dichromate. It's orange color. It's to test for the presence of sulfur dioxide. So let's try. White fumes evolve. If presence of the if presence of sulfur dioxide is, is is there, we can see that the paper will turn to green. From what I'm seeing here, it has turned slightly to a greenish color here. Let me put this down. Turn off the Bunsen burner. Write down the observation. Solid Q upon heating. White fumes are evolved. Water droplets form at the side of the test tube. Gas evolved. Turn them red. Blue litmus paper red. Gas evolved. Also turn them acidified potassium dichromate from yellow to green. Let me move on to the next portion. Now, the next portion here says that we are supposed to place 3 cm cube or solution cube into a clean test tube. This is my solution cube. Let me shake it one more time to make sure that everything is dissolved completely. When it's a solution, you must make sure and ensure that this thing allow light to pass through. It's a clear greenish, pale greenish solution. I'm supposed to place about 3 cm cube. Let me measure and let me just pour directly. 3 cm cube. And I'm supposed to add a 3 to 4 pieces of magnesium strip. As you can see over here, there's effervescence evolved, bubbles are seen. Let me write down the observation. And they say that we're supposed to leave this on the rack for a few minutes while we are waiting, continue part C. Now, this is something that I want everybody to take note of. Every time when you place magnesium strip into a solution, please remember to also test for the presence of hydrogen gas. So, if I were you, I will prepare a lighter splint 
There should be a pop sound. Huh. Let me leave this for a while. In part C, it says here place about 2 cm cube of solution cube into a clean test tube and to this solution add another 2 cm cube of sodium hydroxide. The moment sodium hydroxide is added, you can see that it becomes a dirty green PPT. Now when there's a dirty green PPT upon adding NaOH, in our QA notes, it's very obvious that Fe2 plus is present. So immediately, I should go to the conclusion and write down Fe2 plus present, evident part C, upon adding NaOH, a green PPT was observed. Now it goes on to say that we're supposed to gently warm the mixture. After you add NaOH, and if you are asked to warm the mixture, according to the QA notes, it says here that the most likely or possible cat ion that you're testing is an ammonium and if ammonium is present ammonia gas will be evolved so let me prepare a red litmus paper damp it and let's heat they say warm gently let's warm it gently Well, guess of all, turn the red litmus paper blue. So let me write down the observation. Guess evolved, turn red litmus paper, then red litmus paper blue. Ammonia gas is present. And let me write down over here, ion present, NH4 plus. In part C, upon heating, gas evolved, turn damp red litmus paper blue so ammonia is present to another 2 cm cube of solution cube in a test tube to this solution add 1 cm cube of dilute hydrochloric acid followed by 1 cm cube of barium chloride also refer to QA notes over at this portion they use barium nitrate Sometimes we use barium nitrate, sometimes we use barium chloride, but the observation is to test for the sulfate. 2 cm cube of Q, 1 cm cube of hydrochloric acid, one cm cube of barium chloride. White PPT is observed. 